What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're currently on the road to 1,000 subs. Uh, so if you could, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so this is just a simple... Can we make that screen bigger? Can you on this? Yeah. Joe, no, not you. Joe, if there's All right, guys, so this is just a... Re the play action, get the pass. I'm not really work, looking at mechanics. This is Kyle. This is just little things we can look at. This is something so basic. So right here, guys, I want you to focus on his left foot. See how he brings that left foot back forward? So there's a lot of times you guys, at a young age especially, where you get your foot stepped on, right? Especially when a guard pulls. Especially when a guard pulls, he has to or block down or something like that. He's trying to beat, get down there quicker. He beats you the punch. Or it's actually not that guard's fault. It's just something like this that we can clean up and make everything else just so much smoother. Eliminate those those instances where you do get stepped on. You're not able to get back there. It could be on a crucial third down or something like that. But this is the kind of things we're gonna. I'm gonna to be able to point out to Kyle and he'd be like, oh, I never realized I was doing that. You know, it's something really easy to fix. If you can just see too, he, you know, how his butt drops and he's just playing catch it from there on. But I don't want to like highlight a bunch of. And by the way, most guys move this way. This isn't like, oh yeah, Kyle's got to work on this thing. It's like most dudes move this way. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just inefficient. And then most people, it's because they just haven't really thought about this before and didn't know and nobody brought it up, which is. I don't know, I'm bringing it up here for the first time. Yeah, so it's just first movement, under center. Even though, you know, how do we reverse out for, you know, doing a, a toss to our backside, or, you know, reverse tossing and stuff like that? How do we get out for a stretch, stretch play? How do we get out of a running option? I don't know, whatever it is, guys. These are just the little things we can notice that we're, if you're just sitting there watching film and you want to see, you know, how the play played out or we're watching the defense, and we're not really looking at ourselves, this is just very simple stuff, guys. So I'm gonna go to another play. Here, go two box real quick while I pull it up. I got a different screen. Where are you, Russell Wilson? Oh, that's on a different one. No, no, let's just take a look at Breeze since, you know, we're, we're talking about it. So here we go. Same thing. All he does right now, even though he's lifting that heel up, I want you guys to notice nothing happens on this, this front side, that right side knee. Here we go. So here we go, guys. We're looking at Breeze. Same thing, gun. He lifts that heel up. I'm not worried about that. If that knee sank forward, it actually sank. It, you know, if his knees right here came forward where it's over his toes, that means his weight's going into his toes and he's going to push back an upper body. So I don't want to get too much into this. If his weight went into his toes and he pushed back, the first thing would happen is his head would go back and he now be his upper body would be moving. So the second question is, do I move using upper half or lower half? So he would be moving his upper half. In this case, because his knee doesn't bend, he pushes through his hips. He's just moving with his lower body. His hips are what's moving him back. Mm -hmm. He's pushing through that right foot. You can see that thing completely in the ground. If he sank forward, that heel would come up just a little bit. I could probably pull up a couple other clips, but I want to bore you guys and just... And you can see right here, same thing, his base. Now look at his base. Your question's on base. How's my base? What movement makes it change? Where's my wasted movement? So with him, he has zero wasted movement. It's a goal line fade, it looks like. Let it go. Yeah. Here we go. Watch it from the beginning. Boom. Ball's out. A little behind. Pass broken up. But not the outcome he was hoping for. But he put himself in a good position. Stop that. Here we go. Same thing. Here we go. All he does, too, it's what I've noticed that top, Drew does. He'll lift up. We've looked at, if we looked at it behind his left foot, 
right here. He just lifts that up and he actually turns that foot just a little bit. So he gets into that inside part of his foot, his arch to drive back. Right there, guys. This is where we saw with Daniel, he actually had to reset, kind of get back a little bit. But he sets himself up, he comes and he, flip, he flips his hips a little bit right here and he just drives forward, boom, balls out. Notice how upright he is, there's no lean, he's not over striding, his chest is not over his, his knee. But boom, that ball just comes straight out. I'll watch him one time in real time. And what happens in our first movement too, guys, that's really important, it creates an advantage, it creates space. If we only lose, move our upper body back, our feet are still in the same place. Then our feet are going to come shorter distance to get back under us. If we explode out through our hips that we're talking about, we're going to just create more space away from defenders and stuff like that. And that's where we talk about with Tom and, you know, Tony Romo. If you guys ever really want to see somebody move well in the pocket and create just by little things and how elusive he was, he just explodes through his hips to create space. It's not these false steps. And I want you guys to, you know, watch yourself. If you're trying to move to the right, does your right foot kick behind you? Then your left foot, you kind of scissor kick. Your feet kind of just come out, separate this way rather than one going to the direction you want. So we talk about false stepping. False stepping is when you're here, one foot comes back and the other one goes. You know, we call it Take scissor kick. You, you haven't moved in any space. You haven't moved in any ground. Receivers do this all the time in press coverage. They take a step backwards and then they start to go and the ball's already been snapped and they haven't even, the ball's been snapped for a second, they haven't moved off the line of scrimmage. As opposed to good guys move immediately, no wasted movement. Mm -hmm. um, dude, that's great. That's great, Mike.